He didn't write on us about the turkeys, did he? No. no. Took us to a baseball game, didn't he? Yeah. No. Bought us hot dogs, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. He's gonna take us to a picture show, ain't he? How do we know? holding their breath today over tonight's award ceremonies. You know, some Oscar nights have turned into five-hour marathons, but that's really nothing compared to all the preparation for months that it takes beforehand. The sets have to be built, the spotlight's positioned, camera shots worked out. Well, with any luck, you get the picture. And will tonight, and maybe your favorite picture, will win. And tonight being the moment of truth for dozens of nominees, they're vying for the coveted Academy Awards. Roma Tori is here now with a preview of the big event, and she'll give us her picks for the top honors. Yep, Roma. I'm excited. Oh, okay. The Academy Awards is celebrating its 60th anniversary tonight, but it's bound to be a celebration no different from the past 59. Big, lavish, and deadly long. Who's going to win is always a source of big suspense, so to help you remember your favorites, here's a rundown of some of the top categories. For Best Picture, the nominees are Broadcast News, a bitingly realistic portrayal of the TV news business from the inside looking out. Fatal Attraction, an oddly feminist theme with a thrilling and sexy touch. Glenn Close is a spurned lover out to get the man who done her wrong. Hope and Glory, a beautiful period piece about war-torn London in 1940, all from a child's point of view. The Last Emperor, magnificent splendor with a solid story about the life and times of China's last emperor in the early 20th century. And Moonstruck, a popular favorite. It's a heartwarming story about an Italian family in Brooklyn and the inner passions that burn within them. For best actor, Michael Douglas in Wall Street. He plays a hardened inside trader who worships one master, greed. William Hurt is the empty but ambitious anchor man in broadcast news. Marcello Mastroianni in Dark Eyes. The great Italian actor plays a thoroughly romantic fellow in a bittersweet search for love and happiness. Jack Nicholson has played it all, but for the first time, he's a bum out of the pages of the Pulitzer Prize winning Ironweed. And Robert Robin Williams is a hip, quick-witted disc jockey cheering up the grunts in Good Morning Vietnam. In the Best Actress category, Cher as the love-starved widow seeking contentment in Moonstruck. Glenn Close turns it on as a deadly attractive career woman searching for love and vengeance in Fatal Attraction. Holly Hunter is a different kind of career woman with little time for love or passion. She knows only work in broadcast news. Sally Kirkland is a good-hearted actress with plenty of talent but little success in Anna. And Meryl Streep is back on the list again, this time as an unglamorous homeless woman barely surviving her last days in Ironweed. For Best Supporting Actor, Albert Brooks as a bright but frustrated newsman in broadcast news. Sean Connery is an aging policeman on the beat in The Untouchables. From Street Smart, Morgan Freeman plays a pimp who becomes famous. Vincent Gardenia shares no-nonsense Italian father in Moonstruck. And Denzel Washington is the South African hero, Stephen Biko, in Cry Freedom. Supporting actress nominees are Norma Alejandro as a kind-hearted maid devoted to a young handicapped child. Ann Archer is Michael Douglas's victimized wife in Fatal Attraction. Olympia Dukakis is another member of the Moonstruck family to get a nomination. Ann Ramsey is also a mother of a different kind in the comedy Throw Mama from the Train. And a blast from the past, Ann Southern joins screen legends Lillian Gish and Betty Davis in the tender Wales of August. Thing. All right, who's going to win out of that bunch? Well, mind you, this isn't necessarily my choice, but merely a prediction. So for what it's worth, for Best Picture, I think it'll be The Last Emperor. It's either that or Moonstruck. Best Actor looks like it's going to be Michael Douglas. And Best Actress, Cher. In the supporting categories, it looks like a shoe-in. Olympia Dukakis and Sean Connery have very clear edges. Okay. So, you the race is kind of political, though, huh? Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, it's definitely political. It has nothing to do with the best, in my opinion, yeah. anyway. But in your opinion, who, who was your personal favorite? Okay, for best picture, I think it'll, I'd like to see Last Emperor. I think that's the best film. Um, I think Marcello Mastroianni, I'd love to see. I think he's great, and I think he beat out all the other actors, but he doesn't stand a chance. He's definitely a dark horse. And uh, Holly Hunter, I think, mm -hmm. was the best. 
in broadcast news. Hmm. But, but that's know, a little iffy, though. To tell you how bizarre this whole uh, selection process is, I hear the Academy is voting for Robin Williams just because they want to hear his acceptance speech. So that's how it's, bizarre. Yeah. Mm. It's not even political there. It's just strategizing. Okay. Okay, thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Roma. Well, just to show you that uh, we are even-handed, it is time for the Golden Raspberry Awards. Those irreverent awards handed out to Hollywood's worst of 1987. Worst picture? Well, the 60th Annual Academy Awards gets underway tonight in Hollywood with the usual hoopla and glamour. Who's going to get the prestigious Oscar is anybody's guess, and that anybody could be Roma Torrey, who's here now to give us a preview. Well, Roma. I'll try. One nice thing about tonight's ceremony is that all the top contenders are expected to be in the house. So you'll be able to see the thrill of victory, or in more cases, the agony of defeat on all the faces of your favorite nominees. So now